Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday morning, March 27th. Continuation of cold air outbreaks over the next 10 days or so, and that will lead to additional snowfall uh, threats for much of the northern U.S., specifically the Rocky Mountain states, the northern plains, and even the northeastern uh, U.S. can get into some of the action in terms of accumulating snow over the next 7 or 10 days or so. Again, we have a continuation of cold air outbreaks going into the beginning uh, stages of April. April gets underway on Monday and we'll talk about some of these threats over the next several minutes here. First of all, this is the total snowfall forecast map for the next 10 days by last night's zero Z run of the GFS and there certainly are a few areas that jump out at you. First of all, continuation of the threat of snow across the Rocky Mountain states as has been the case over the past few weeks here with some significant snowfall predicted here over the next 10 days, places like the Colorado Rockies. And we have a continuation of uh, a piling up of snow in the Sierra Nevada mountain range of eastern California. Again, this is a very important source of water during the summer season in California as that snow melt contributes to water throughout uh, a good portion of California itself. So it's always nice to see a buildup of snow by this time of the year in the Sierra Nevada mountains and certainly was the case this winter and last winter as well. And then take a look at this uh, over the northeastern U.S. This is uh, some significant snow. It may not uh, quite amount to these uh, kind of totals here over the next 10 days or so, but it's sending a red flag that indeed there is uh, still plenty of cold air around for the northeastern part of the nation, and that could result in some significant accumulating snow, especially the higher elevations of the northeastern states over the next 7 or 10 days or so. Well, in fact, let's take a look at the forecast of these additional cold air outbreaks. This is as we begin the day here on Wednesday, March 27th, in terms of the 850 millibar temperature anomalies from the zero Z conventional version of the GFS. A lot of colder than normal air, which helped contribute to more accumulating snow over the northern plains over the past couple of days. And this will uh, make a move towards the east and there is a frontal system that will tend to stall out right along the eastern seaboard over the next 6 to 12 hours or so and low pressure will form along that frontal boundary zone and produce some rainfall in that DC, Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City corridor from later today into tomorrow afternoon. It could jeopardize, jeopardize some of the home openers on Thursday afternoon. Philadelphia, the Phillies play, the Braves uh, the Orioles have a home opener on Thursday afternoon, as do the New York Mets. All of those are questionable. There's uh, likely to be sunshine on Friday, so that kind of adds to the possibility that they'll just postpone those games into the day on, uh, for the day on Friday, or to the day on Friday, despite the fact that the rain could very well end uh, by early afternoon on Thursday. But here's a uh, pretty widespread colder than normal air mass. On Thursday, let's keep moving forward here. It slides into the east uh, by the end of the work week and then uh, it tends to get a little bit milder by the time we get to the middle and latter part of the upcoming weekend. Could actually squeeze out a pretty a decent Easter Sunday in places like DC, Philadelphia, New York City, maybe even high temperatures on Sunday afternoon of 60 degrees or so, so relatively mild. It'll be colder than normal way up across northern New England, but the, much of the Mid-Atlantic could again squeeze out a, a decent Easter Sunday, and that follows potentially a threat of showers on Saturday and also on Monday, so we could sneak in a nice Easter for that DC to New York City car, much above normal uh, by the uh, second half of the weekend over the southern plains, but colder than normal out across California. And then we'll push forward here and we'll see colder air occasionally sliding into the northeastern states. And that uh, could play a key role in the threat of accumulating snow later next week. And here we have that colder than normal air mass focused over uh, New England, the rest of the northeastern states. And again, uh, by the time we get to next Wednesday and Thursday, quite a chilly air mass. This is all the way uh, uh, into Thursday of next week, which is the... Um, the 4th of April. April again gets underway on Monday. So again, occasional outbreaks making their way into the northern U.S. over the next 7 or 10 days or so. 
Well, now let's take a look at the 500 millibar height anomalies. A lot of lower pressure, lower heights than normal across the middle of the nation, and a, a, a ridge centered over southeastern part of Canada as we begin the midweek here on Wednesday. Let's push forward here, and this whole system weakens a little bit, but it slides to the eastern seaboard by the time we get to the end of the work week. This will kind of follow that frontal system and that low pressure forming along the front by the time we get to Friday, a windy day in the I-95 corridor region, probably dry and mostly sunny uh, uh, to go along with those strong winds. Then we'll get into the uh, weekend, and again, there can be a, a weak disturbance producing some showers in portions of the Mid-Atlantic region on Saturday. By the time we get to Easter Sunday right here, likely to squeeze out a decent day in places like D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, and certainly across much of the Tennessee Valley and the lower middle Mississippi Valley. A nice Easter Sunday coming. California, certainly in question with a deep upper level low sliding, and they continue to get uh, impacted by Pacific Ocean storms across California all the way into the early part of April. Indeed, this right here is the map for Monday, April 1st. A strong ridge here over the Tennessee Valley, strong upper level low, and watch out. This could be a kind of a battle zone region in between the higher heights to the east and the lower heights to the west, a battle zone region, maybe some more uh, threats for severe weather early next week. Now, we'll move forward here kind of quickly to go into the latter part, the middle latter part of next week, and this is a system that could produce a decent snowfall across portions of the northeastern states. Certainly, uh, speculation phase right now, we're talking about next Wednesday, Thursday time frame. Right here, the, there will be a colder than normal air mass sliding into the northeastern states, and uh, uh, along with that will be this potential pretty deep upper level low. Could spawn some accumulating snow, again, seven or eight days out from right now, something we'll monitor over the next several days. Well, let's walk through the surface forecast maps. Kind of a weak frontal system, a weakening frontal system that stalls out along the eastern seaboard. And right here we see uh, it, it just stalls out here by this evening. And the low pressure forms along this frontal boundary zone and uh, increased chance for showers uh, in uh, the I-95 car region, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City. Later today, that threat of rain continues tonight into the day on Thursday. Let's move ahead here. Here's that low pressure area by tomorrow morning. Again, kind of a backing to the north and west of that rain shield, a backing north and west into the I-95 Carter region as of tomorrow morning. And we go into the midday and still showing some signs of rain in the immediate I-95 Carter region. That is why uh, the Phillies home opener, the Orioles home opener, the Mets home opener in jeopardy on Thursday afternoon and it uh, moves on out by the time we get to Thursday evening and here we go on Friday looks like a windy but probably a dry and mostly sunny day in the I-95 corridor region so uh, there's, there's a decent chance that MLB Major League Baseball will postpone those games on Thursday afternoon even though they probably could play because the rain for the most part may be over it's, it's a uh, a much drier day coming on Friday, which is an open day for those uh, cities, for those uh, teams. So they may postpone the games into Friday. Then we move forward here. Chile air mass does follow that uh, rainfall into the northeast. And here's a weak disturbance that could produce a few showers in the mid-Atlantic region on a Saturday. Another Pacific Ocean storm uh, pushing rain into the low-lying areas across California and high elevations of the Sierra Nevada getting additional snow to go on top of what's been piling up over the past few months here and we go into Easter Sunday and again we can kind of squeeze out a decent day in much of the mid-Atlantic region for Easter Sunday and that's before uh, yet another disturbance could throw a few showers into the mid-Atlantic region on Monday here we see some snow crossing the uh, that Pacific Ocean storm pushes east in the Rocky Mountain states and indeed can be some more snow accumulating snow in those Rocky Mountain states later this weekend in the early part of next week if you're a skier it's great to go out west and if you're a skier it's probably great to go to the northeastern uh, part of the country Vermont New Hampshire Maine certainly been piling up on snow and continuation for accumulate the threat of accumulating snow going into 
uh, later next week and we'll push forward. And here we see a pretty uh, impressive storm system starting to show up in the eastern half of the, uh, the nation by the middle of next week. This is all the way out a week from today to Wednesday, April 3rd. And colder air will be sliding the south and east. So it's kind of threading a needle here. A lot of things have to go right, but the potential does exist for uh, a, a decent snowfall here in the northeastern part of the nation as low pressure will tend to, uh, the initial low pressure system looks like it will tend to go uh, well to the north and west, but a secondary is likely to form. And this is all the way out, again, seven or eight days from now. But if, in fact, this happens in this manner, secondary low pressure forms off the New England coastline with colder air pouring in. You could end up with accumulating snow and perhaps significant accumulation uh, accumulations of snow in the especially in those higher elevation areas of the northern mid Atlantic the northeast US again we're talking next Wednesday or Thursday we'll go out a little bit farther in time the GFS just goes kind of bonkers with this storm not saying it's wrong just saying this raises a red flag that this is something that we have to closely monitor over the next set several days this is next Thursday forecast map and it's just dumping snow on places like Boston so we'll see if this uh, is something that holds true over the next several days. <clears throat> Excuse me. Certainly something to monitor. And again, all of this accumulating snow is uh, a reasonable threat here over the next seven or ten days ago because of additional cold air outbreaks from Canada into the U.S. over at least the next ten days or so. That's it for now. For ArcfieldWeather.com, this has been meteorologist Paul Dorian.